Meghan Markle is setting the record straight. Over the weekend, The Telegraph reported that the Duchess of Sussex sent King Charles a letter expressing concern over alleged, quote, unconscious bias in the royal family. The letter was reportedly sent after her and Prince Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, where she claimed that a member of the royal family speculated on, quote, how dark her son Archie's skin would be. The Telegraph reported that the alleged correspondence is, quote, thought to be one of the factors behind her decision to skip King Charles's coronation. And some royal commentators accuse Meghan of leaking the letter herself to the press. But a spokesperson for Meghan and Harry shot down all the speculation, stating in a statement to E! News, quote, the Duchess of Sussex is going about her life in the present, not thinking about correspondence from two years ago related to conversations from four years ago. Any suggestion otherwise is false and frankly ridiculous. Adding, quote, we encourage tabloid media and various royal correspondents to stop the exhausting circus that they alone are creating. Earlier this month, it was confirmed that Prince Harry will travel to the UK solo for his father's historic event, and a rep for the couple explained that the Duchess of Sussex will stay home in California with their two children. Royal expert in DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston recently shared with ex Hollywood why she believes the Duchess, quote, breathed a huge sigh of relief after King Charles's coronation fell on the same day as Prince Archie's fourth birthday. Meghan is not attending the coronation for a number of reasons. Quite frankly, Archie's birthday provides her with the perfect excuse to stay behind at home. She can tell everyone that she wants to be with her son on his birthday, that she wants to make sure that he feels special and that he's able to celebrate it at home in California with his friends and loved ones. However, I think Meghan likely breathed a huge sigh of relief when they set the date for the coronation because who would want to travel to London and be around people who you know don't want you there? And that's the truth of the matter. It's better for everyone involved that Meghan does not attend. Whether or not she was planning on putting on a brave face, smiling for the cameras, acting as though things were all hunky-dory, the fact of the matter is her mere presence at the coronation would cause such a scandal such a huge amount of public intrigue that it would completely overshadow Charles and the rest of the senior royals.